dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 verse 2. Where is he, the king of the Jews? We have seen his star. Where is he? I ask you the question, where is he? Answer is already given in Colossians 1.27. Let us see where is he now. Colossians 1.27. Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Is it wonderful or not wonderful? Where is he? In the palace or in the village or in the town or in the metro city or in the theater or in the beach or in the DJ party. Where is he? In the heart. And this Christ must remain in your heart by faith, not in your head. Bible says, not in our head, but in our heart. Colossians, Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17. The Christ must live in us. Dwell in your hearts, not in our head, in your heart, through faith. As you are being rooted and grounded in love. So when we are rooted and grounded in love, when we stand in favor of someone who is not worthy to be loved, so when we love our neighbor and stand favorable for them, and God loves us, that means God stands favorable for even sinners. So in the same way, when we stand favorable for others in love, we are rooted and grounded in love, then Christ will live in our heart, not in our head, not by knowledge, by experience we know him. By our brain, our knowledge, our study, we know something about Jesus, but we can experience him. We can study the nature of the sugar in the chemistry class. After that, we can go to the cafeteria and take and put one spoon and of sugar in the tea and release it, we can experience it. In the same way, the knowledge of God comes to us through the visible signs and created world. Romans 1.21 We have no excuse that in the visible world a creator is manifested. Epiphany already happened. The manifestation happened. Though they knew God they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. They became futile in their thinking and their senseless minds were darkened. So whatever we want to know is there in the nature. There should be a creator. Without having a creator, this old, old, orderly world will not come up. So verse 20 says, look around the world. We know the main architect of the world. Ever since the creation of the world, his eternal power and divine nature, invisible, though they are, his nature is invisible, his power is invisible, and also his person is invisible, have been understood and seen through the things he has made. So they are without excuse. Where is he? In our heart. How we know that? By faith. How he assists in us and how he will be with us when we stand in favor of other people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One person told me, astrology helps to find the God. Because Matthew chapter 2 verse 2 says, seeing his star they went to Bethlehem. I told him, through the created world, we can come to God. But after coming to God and after seeing Jesus, no more star. They went in their own way, in a different way, not followed the star, but star, the star of Bethlehem is already in their heart. And by that spiritual inspiration, spiritual guidance and innermost dictation of the 
ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡിക്റ്റേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ കോൺഷ്യൻസ് ദേ വാക് ആൻഡ് വെൻ ഓൺ അനദർ വേ ടു ദയർ നെറ്റീവ് പ്ലേസ് സോ വി ഓൾ ഹാവ് ആൻ ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ആൻ ഇൻറ്റുറ്റീവ് നോളജ് ഹൗ ടു റീച്ച് ഗോഡ് ഹൗ ടു ഗോ ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ അവർ ഫൈനൽ ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ ഈസ് ഇൻ ഹെവൻ സോ വി ഹാവ് ആൻ ഇൻറ്റുഷൻ സോ വി ഹാവ് ആൻ ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ and also we have a insight that insight is known as revelation of the holy spirit the spirit is working in us and reveals spirit reveals the spirit of revelation be upon us ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 open their eyes lord so that they may see i pray that god of our lord jesus christ the hope of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation a wisdom and revelation for what as you come to know him with a spirit of wisdom and revelation from god we can know where is our god where is the power of god so i pray now open your eyes of faith and this spirit of wisdom and revelation may come upon you and also jesus is present but if you if you do not have a relationship with him we will not enjoy the power we will not experience the power now powerlessness or weakness in your body isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says trust in the lord your tiredness will be removed how many of you are tired all those who are tired also will be retired retired tired and retired so all of you and all of us because of the pandemic and also the omicron virus and delta plus and also different variants of covid and some other virus waiting for us tired of these things but the lord says isaiah 4031 trust in jesus trust in jesus those who trust in the lord and wait for him will not be tired and they will mount up they will fly very high like an eagle praise the lord and they shall run but they will not weary they will not be tired and they will walk and walk but they will not faint or they will not become weak how many of you are weak lift up your hand how many of you are tired lift up your hand you are going to have the wings of the eagle and going very high you have to walk more work more live long the lord is with you jesus savior of the world and he is the king helps you assist you when the rain comes all the birds are taking shelter within the foliage of the trees but the eagle going very high and flying over the clouds when the rain over they are coming down their feathers are not wet when feathers are being wet the bird cannot fly but the eagle is going very high and flying above the rain clouds and after the rain they come then there is no tiredness why it is so as an eagle you will fly over your problems we will fly over our problems not we are flying through the problems but above jesus will help us to move above the problems that's the, that's why the star is seen there in heaven and the numbers 2417 says a profane prophet from another religion prophesied that he will be a star a star will be risen a star will be risen a star shall come out of jacob that star and what is the speciality of that star this is my imagination one star and that one rays of that star a big beam of light coming and standing in front of us from heaven to earth 
So it is easy to follow that beam of light, that stream of light. So they are not always looking. When I was small, I was thinking, these three kings just looking up and how tired they are. Reaching in Jerusalem and Bethlehem, they might have been suffered of spondylitis. They need collar support. That was my imagination when I was small. When I'm thinking in a mature way, I just they're just looking straight because that star, that one light, one stream of light, stood in front of them. So they followed and the star was walking like this, moving like this. I will walk in front of you, as the Bible says, and you are just to follow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Because the Bible says Psalm 119, words 105. 119, words 105. Thy word, that is a star for us. The word of God is star for us now. Don't look in the night. Where is the star of Jesus? Where is the star of Jesus? Where is the star of Jesus? Word of God is a star now. A star. Follow the word of God. Your word is lamp to my feet. And also a light to my path. What is a star now? Word of God. So follow the word of God. We all will reach Jesus Christ. No need to ask anyone, where is he, where is he? Read the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Be the doer of the word of God. You are in Bethlehem. Then offer. What is that gold? What is all good things in our life? Offer to him. Right now, lift up your hands. Offer all good things that God has given to us. Then what is that more? Offer all your sufferings and all negatives to him. Please offer. I show you a miracle right now in your life. A healing in your life. Give everything to Jesus. Good things and bad things. Gold and more. Then frankincense, the prayer, the priestly ministry, that prayer. My prayer is going up like incense. Revelation chapter 4 verse 8. Incense. So offer everything. Offer good gold and good things and bad things together with a prayer. And that prayer is going up. Holy, 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 the God of Almighty who was and is and is to come. And also Incense, verse 7 says, the incense means it is something in the prayer that is going up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we lift up our hands. Look to the face of Jesus, what we have seen in the word of God. He is in the word of God. All good things are being multiplied right now. All the more sufferings being reduced, vanished. And the prayers are going up like incense. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you right now. The Lord may touch you and bless you and heal you. In Jesus' name, Amen.